With global warming, carbon sink monitoring is urgent. In the face of hardships, how will they quantify the natural treasury? Tian Fong Ling National Forest Park is located at the junction of Lu Dong Li Autonomous County and Dong Fang City in the southwest of Hainan. It is one of the largest and best preserved virgin tropical forests in China. In this expansive rainforest, the lush foliage obscures the sky. Looking down from the air, the tree canopy undulates like a fortress. The unique land features and diverse biological types have attracted many researchers. Founded in 1957, the Jiangfeng Ling National Field Scientific Observation and Research Station for Forest Ecosystem is one of the earliest in China. It has a history of field monitoring and data accumulation for more than 60 years. Since its foundation, the station has carried out research on tropical forest biodiversity dynamics, carbon sink dynamics, hydrological and ecological functions, and ecosystem service functions. It has become the most typical monitoring and research platform of tropical forest ecosystem in the southernmost part of China. <laughs> Zheng Dexiang, director of Qiangfeng Ling National Field Scientific Observation and Research Station for Forest Ecosystem. Every Monday, Qian holds a meeting to sum up experience and deploy tasks for the next stage. It's been 22 years since he pursued his dreams as a student to root in Qiangfeng Ling for his career. Despite his vicissitude, Chen's original aspiration has never changed. Lucid waters and lush mountains are invaluable assets. Exploring how to realize the value of ecological products is the only way to achieve it. The carbon sink is one of the indicators. China has set a goal of reaching the peak of carbon emissions by 2030 and achieving carbon neutrality by 2060. For this, researchers at the Chengfeng Ling Station have launched a series of basic monitoring and research on carbon sinks. In the early morning rainforest, the mist has not yet dispersed. It was lightly dawn. Researchers began to pack up and prepare to enter the mountain. Everything is ready. Chun leads the team to the depths of the rainforest. Soon, they encounter their first test of today's work. A rugged mountain road leads from the station to the simple plot in the depths of the rainforest. The slope is steep, even Chiu Jiang who is experienced in mountain driving, must be extremely cautious. It turns out that a huge red vertebra tree snapped by the road. The thick trunk rolled down and blocked the way, making it impossible for vehicles to pass. In the face of this sudden situation, even if the time is urgent, Chen and his team have to remove it first. After more than an hour's work, the trunk is finally sawn into sections. When working in the field, they often encounter unexpected conditions. The members are already used to it. Oh. 
After some twists and turns, Chen and his team are finally able to move on. Traveling on the mountain road, they're approaching the sample plot. They walk deep into the forest with food and equipment, talking and laughing. The ever-changing rainforest is full of dangers. Compared to wild boars and pythons, mountain leeches are already commonplace. Got rid of the mountain leeches. They continue to climb. After more than half an hour of walking, they finally arrive at the first station, the observation tower. Without taking a break, Chen and his team begin their first job today, maintaining the devices on the observation tower. To check the status of the devices, they have to climb the 50 meter tower bare hands. Chen and Chao climb skillfully and reach the top in less than 10 minutes. While turning on the monitoring devices, Chen notices the problem. The lights are off. Data transmission is not working. As large-scale testing equipment cannot be carried up, every failure has to be eliminated manually. Half an hour later, the problem still has not been resolved, and the check continues. The work is rarely done all at once. Chow has to go down to get tools. Climbing the tower a dozen times has become the norm for the researchers of Chiang Fung Ling Ecological Station. As long as the problem isn't solved and the data cannot be received normally, Chen cannot rest assured. This time, Chen chooses to disassemble the parts for reassembly. During this process, they find that the sensor interface has loosened. Chen then tightens it. Fortunately, there is no hardware damage, and this result is a blessing. The problem is eliminated, and everyone is finally able to catch their breath. It is already one o'clock in the afternoon. Now they get a chance to eat and have a rest. The mountain road is rugged, and it often takes half a day to go in and out. Every time before they enter the mountain, they prepare some simple food in advance, plus some bottled water. Lunch is solved. To rush back before the sun sets, after a short rest, Chen's team continues to set off. In this rainforest, half a million trees are with this kind of sign, with a specific number. The number represents the species name, diameter, and coordinates of the tree. It is an exclusive ID card.
Every five years, the researchers will re-examine the trees in the sample plot and give them new IDs. Each of the half a million trees must be measured manually, which takes considerable time and energy. Year after year, day after day, Chun and his team insist on doing repetitive tasks. In addition to maintaining devices, monitoring carbon sinks and giving trees IDs, they are also responsible for water, soil and fertilizer conservation and environmental purification in the rainforest. The release of the results is getting closer. The complex monitoring data of over 60 years needs to be dealt with. On September 26, the press conference on the gross production value of the ecosystem of the National Park of Hainan Tropical Rainforest was held as scheduled. According to the calculations, the total ecosystem production value of the National Park System Pilot Zone in 2019 was over 204 billion yuan and the GEP was 46 million yuan per square kilometer. This is the first GEP calculation result of China's national parks. The National Park of Hainan Tropical Rainforest is the first of the four landmark projects in Hainan to promote the construction of the National Ecological Civilization Pilot Zone and it is also the concrete practice to explore the path of turning lucid waters and lush mountains into value. Doing good deeds without asking for reward is the simplest belief of Cheng Diexiang and other scientists who have spent decades watching the mountains and forests. It is also the persistence of all rainforest researchers who try to do their job to the best. Although there is still a long way to go in the study of tropical rainforest ecosystems, they have taken an important step to make the originally vague natural value clear. The ancient rainforest will usher in a new era.